Hi friends, lot of people use activated carbon. In my recent video, I discuss about the common planted aquarium problems and some suggested to me to use the activated carbon for clearing cloudiness in planted aquarium. Well, all planted aquarium beginners might face this problem. So does using activated carbon solve the problems? And do all activated carbon does the job? How will you use activated carbon in planted aquariums and other aquariums? What are its pros and cons? Stay tuned and watch this video till the end to know more about the use of activated carbon in aquariums. First of all, what is activated carbon? Activated carbon is a form of carbon that is used as filtration media. It helps to remove the pollutants from water and helps in making the aquarium water clear and also removes its odor. It is often used in filtration media for clearing aquarium water and reduces toxicity. Now how activated carbon works in aquariums. Activated carbon works by the process of both absorption and adsorption. Absorption occurs in activated carbon by trapping all the pollutants in the pores and adsorption occurs by the chemical bonding size it has which also makes bond with the pollutants and makes them adhere to its surface. Aquarium waste and fish waste releases a lot of ammonia into the water which is broken down into nitrites. This ammonia and nitrites are harmful to fishes and living organisms and should be either broken down to nitrates by bacteria or removed from the water. You can know more about the nitrogen cycle in later video. For now you should know that activated carbon can also do the job of trapping or adhering these pollutants and make water safe for fishes. Besides it also removes the cloudiness and odors from water. How to use activated carbon in aquariums? Not every activated carbon is good to be used as chemical filtration media and you have to make sure you use quality activated carbon. Activated carbon has measured quantity in terms of iodine and molasses number. Iodine number of 1000 and molasses number of around 225 is adequate for using in aquarium. Also the ash quantity should be minimum. It is recommended to add 2 cups of activated carbon per 55 gallon of aquarium water for best results. It will start working from the moment you add it and shows result within a week. Try adding carbon in mesh bag like this. Wrap the opening firmly and place it into the filtration media or into the aquarium. Don't worry if you lose it inside the water as they are not harmful for fishes. But for heavily planted aquarium too, much activated carbon is not recommended as it will trace out certain chemicals from the water that are essential for plant growth. For such instance, you can instead use the UV sterilizer filter for the same, though they are costly but are quite effective. Since I told earlier that the pollutants are just trapped by the activated carbon, so it has to be replaced with new activated carbon every 3 to 4 weeks depending on the changes you see in the aquarium. If you see a yellowish color inside the water or odors coming out from the water then it is time to change the activated carbon. Activated carbons are also much cheaper filtration media than buying new filtration pad every 3 to 4 weeks. So if you are still not willing to do the replacement of activated carbon, the UV sterilizer filters are best for removing the pollutants from aquarium water. If you are willing to buy the same, check the links in the description to get started and buy the best quality activated carbon or UV sterilizer filter for your aquarium. I hope you found this useful. Check out my other videos and subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Connect or follow me on social networks. Links to all this in the video descriptions. Take care and thanks for watching.